Welcome back, Faithful Mutants. Strebo here with you again. It's been a while since I've done one of these convention tip videos. The, uh, I did one for Horror Hound 2010 way back when. It seemed to be pretty well received, so I thought, why not do another one? Um, we'll kind of add on to a, a few of the things that we mentioned last time. <clears throat> Which, by the way, if you haven't seen that video, if you're, you're a convention newbie and you want some kind of guidance, I definitely recommend go that you go and watch my my other video you can watch it after this one it's fine you won't be lost uh if you come into this one blind um and i'm going to give you some more tips here today so but just a few because we're in the middle of doing our last minute packing and heading out to the fright night film fest fandom fest in louisville kentucky this weekend and uh, we've got a lot of things left to pack get ready cats to feed children to put to bed all that good stuff so we can hit the road get going hang out with you guys and have a heck of a good time this weekend so i'm looking forward to it there's the uh promo card for that by the way fright night film fest and fandom fest lots of cool guests coming speaking of which by the way that's going to bring us to tip number one never base your con experience on one guest uh this is a tip i see repeated on a lot of forums but in case you don't know it it's an important one for example, Bruce Campbell is the big guest this weekend, and if you're only coming for him, if he canceled, it would be horrible. Uh, as it is, he's only going to be there on Saturday, so it's a bit of a bummer that you're only gonna, we're, we're only going to get to see him on that one day. But at least we're going to get to see him. I've got my photo op paid for, all that. That kind of leads us to <laughs> tip 1A, which is if you're going to do photo ops and get autographs, Go ahead, pay for that stuff in advance, plan it out in advance, then go and have a good time. Tip number two, bring your items to have autographed. Bring your own items just in case because sometimes when you visit your, your favorite celeb, actor, director, screenwriter, whatever they may be, they don't have the best, they don't always have the best selection of items to buy from them for to, to get signed. They don't always have great 8 by 10 So, Sometimes it pays to get your own. Like last year, I was kind of I was disappointed by the one I got from Carpenter. <laughs> I wish I'd have got a different one. But what can you do? What can you do? At the time, I was pressed. I was I was pressured by the you know 300 people behind me in the line. And when, I, when I'm sitting there trying to make up my mind, and the one I picked was kind of boring. So anyway, I didn't want to repeat that same mistake this year. And this is the one I got for Mr. Bruce Campbell to sign. This is my boomstick. Can't go wrong with that. I also have one for Sid Haig and one for Charles Edward Pogue. This is the Japanese program for the fly. And it's entirely possible that he's never seen this before and he'll be excited to check it out. So I'm going to bring those, have them sign them. Now, one thing about bringing your own item, if it's something you have that you buy new, like all of these I just bought brand new, but I bought them new over the past few months. Sometimes you still have to pay the same amount to have your own item signed. Sometimes it's maybe $5 less or $10 less. So you might possibly end up paying more if you go the bring your own item route if you wind up buying something beforehand. But if, if it's something you've had for years anyway and you want to get it signed, then you're, all, you're, you're good to go. Bring it, have them sign it. Uh, next, this next tip, all credit goes to my buddy B Jr. What's up? Endurance Productions. He says, bring your own pens, have a silver, have a gold, have a black ready, just in case, because, for example, my fly poster, what happens if I go to Charles, go see Charles Edward Pogue and he only has a black pen to sign, and which means he's got to sign right here. Okay, that could be a problem. But if I have a silver pen ready for him, he can sign anywhere in the black space. Bring your own pen. Thank you for that tip, B. Jr. I thought it was important enough to share with everybody else. Uh, guys, go check him out at Endurance Productions. Awesome guy. Fellow North Carolinian. And we'll see you at Fright Night, buddy. Very, very soon. Bring exact change when you go to buy something. This is not, this is not a live or die kind of tip, okay, mind you. But it's one that will make things a little bit easier for you because as the weekend wears on people don't always have exact change you're buying these $15 items and you're just handing out 20s eventually you're gonna run into somebody that doesn't have that five or they're charging $25 and you know whatever the the better selection of change that you have 
the more prepared that you'll be to buy whatever it is you want to buy from your favorite celebrity, from the vendor room, what have you, whether it's books, movies, anything. If you have the money, you have a selection, you'll be able to get it. Next tip is talk to your fellow fans. You're going to be waiting in line for a long, long time. <laughs> I don't want to make it sound like a bad, bad thing, but it's kind of that old Buddhist uh, proverb of, you know, life is suffering. Well, you know, waiting in line is suffering, but all suffering can end, and at cons, the same is true. If you know you're going to suffer, talk to your buddies while, while you're there waiting in line. You will be amazed to, to see the rare items that they'll have with them, the stories that they have to tell about the celebs that they've met over the years. You, you'll just have a really good time. I always meet so many cool people at every convention I go to. Um, the Fright Night Film Fest is no exception. I've made so many cool friends there over the years. I really, really enjoy it. Um, these are people, when you come back, you add them to your Facebook page all that stuff and, and they become friends that you get to visit every year so it's very very cool talk to your fellow buddies your fellow film your fellow fans friends they're gonna be your new friends okay talk to them last tip this is a bonus is it is for my fellow filmmakers out there if you're gonna be an attending filmmaker bring flyers cover the place in them have little handouts ready to go little cards like that i'll show you guys the new new flyer we have for scarecrow at midnight which is screening friday night 9 15 in the brown room it's part of a double feature followed by patrick ray's nail biter very very cool check that bad boy out dun 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 in the french room oh there's new tisha and strebo <laughs> ah, how's that for weird can see the Mutantville players live at the convention all weekend long. But anyway, that's not a tip. That's just something I want you to do. I hope you've enjoyed these con tips. Hopefully it will help you get the most out of your experience. Again, go watch my other video if you haven't yet or if you're a con newbie and you need some tips. And some of the advice I just gave you, I'm sure a lot of you seasoned, seasoned vets don't need, which is cool. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. We'll see you all very, very soon at the Fright Night Film Fest. This is Strebo from Mutantville.com. You're watching Mutant TV.